the 12 days of so you guys can see from the title today is day one of 12 days of Alexmas. This is where I do 12 days of Christmas, but Alex's way. So this year I wanted to do it a little bit different for you guys. I thought about it long and hard. I kind of got this idea last year when I was gift gifting and I was like, ooh, wouldn't that be fun for a video? So it took me about two weeks to come up with these ideas for my 12 days of Alexmas, because it was a little bit harder. I challenged myself a little bit more this year. I wanted to make it unique and different this year. So you guys know that I cannot do like all of December. It's just impossible with three kids and my kids are in a lot of activities and we have extra things that it's just gonna, it's a lot of work. So I'm willing to put in 12 days for you guys. Now how I'm gonna do it this year is, as you guys can see me with no eye makeup on today, I am going to, this is why I asked you guys on Instagram about the 12 days of Christmas song. I am going to base it off of the 12 days of Christmas song. Isn't that what the song is called, right? I think that's what this song is called. Oh my gosh. Um, so each day, either there is a corresponding number or an object, obviously. Today is partridge in a pear tree. So I'm gonna base my video off of either the number of the song or the actual objects in the song itself of that specific day. So um, every day will be different. Uh, you may see me in the same outfit two videos in a row because not only am I filming my 12 days of Christmas or Alexmas this month, I also have other videos that I do have to insert in between these to let you guys know. My last day, the 12th day will be on Christmas Eve. Today, obviously December 1st is the first day of the 12 days of Alexmas. Day two through 11 will be scattered throughout the month up until the 24th. You may have two days in a row. I may be filming or uploading three days in a row. I am going to throw them in in between all of my videos. So you, may, my schedule is gonna be all over the place for the next 24 days. You're gonna see Saturday uploads. You're gonna see Sunday uploads. It all depends on when I get a chance to film these videos. I'm gonna edit them and upload them for you guys whenever I can because I also have other videos that I gotta do in between all of these. So brace yourselves, you guys. You might get five videos a week. I don't know. I'm gonna try to pace it where I don't do three videos in a row each, like three days in a row of, of uploads. I'm gonna give you guys at least a maximum of three days in a row. At least I'm gonna try to and then give you guys a break to catch up and then continue to upload whenever I can. But day 12 will be on the 24th, Christmas Eve. So today I decided that today is day one, it is partridge in a pear tree. So I had to wear a shirt that was kind of green and I wanted to, and obviously it's the one, so I figured it's me as the number one. I wanted to do a quick eye look based on the partridge in a pear tree as I talk to you guys about my ideas and what I'm thinking and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna post a photo of what a partridge in a pear tree is. I did not learn what a partridge in a pear tree was until about college. Yeah, uh, I was a little slow on that one. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm just thinking it's a tree with something in it. I don't know what it was. I had no idea a partridge was an actual bird. So I'm gonna base my eye look off of this photo. There's a lot of browns from the bird and a little bit of beige, obviously around his neck. And then the tree is obviously green leaves and then it has like a, a lighter green, limey green pears on it. So that's what my eye look is gonna be based off of today. So the twist to this though, I ha since it is day one, and it is one partridge in a pear tree, I can only reach for my singles. I'm not allowed to reach in any eyeshadow palette. It has to be all single shadows. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna jump around. I pulled out three palettes and we're just gonna go for it, all right? I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna do a quick look as I chit chat. <sighs> Bienvenidos a mi cara. All right, you guys, so here we are. I am just gonna pull out shades. I have it in memory because I left my phone downstairs, but I do remember which shot or which picture I posted. It's an, the actual live. It's not a cartoon drawn picture. It's an actual partridge in a pear tree that I found. So I remember the partridge, it's like a cooler tone brown on 
its feathers. So I am gonna actually pull this single right over here. It's actually MAC Cork. I thought this was actually pretty good and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade before we get into all the greens in this look. I thought it would be really pretty. So we're just gonna put this right over here. I already have most of my face done because I didn't wanna sit here for a good 30 minutes doing my whole entire face when I can just share with you guys. The, the whole point of this was the eye look that I'm coming up with, not necessarily what my face is. So I'm just building this up little by little. I appreciate that this shadow isn't so pigmented so it doesn't overpower the whole look that I'm wanting to do. And of course I'm gonna put on lashes because the wings are eyelashes. <laughs> so we are gonna put on some lashes today as well. So I'm just building this up in the crease and making it all nice and pretty. I'm gonna just try to buff this out over here because I have a little bit like a line over there and I don't know what that's from. So I bet you guys are gonna be bombarded today with a bunch of uploads, which is fine. My upload time will always be the same. I just, you're gonna have a bunch of uploads whenever and follow me on Instagram. That's when you'll know, because I always post whenever I post an upload of when I have an actual video coming up. So you guys will see that. Um, I do remember it having a little bit of like beige to it. So I'm gonna grab this shade. This is a Lorac eyeshadow right here. And I'm actually going to put this as a brow bone shade. Ooh, this is very pigmented. Cause it does have a little bit of like beige around its neck feathers. So we're gonna put it like right there. And then put it in the inner corner a little bit so we can brighten our look up. Cause I have no idea. The shadows that I'm gonna use for my lid for the actual green um, are I'm gonna have fallout. but. I only intend to film this one video today. I'm not planning on doing multiple videos. I've been filming so much, you guys, that today I just wanna do one video. I'm gonna do my first video all on its own without you seeing this whole entire look again. <laughs> now, let's get into the green. The tree is a little bit of a darker green and I feel like it has that little bit of light green to it. So we're gonna just play around. I'm gonna first start out with this shadow. These are all JD Glow shadows and I felt like these were gonna be fun and sparkly. This one's prismatic. I'm not sure if this is available. Can you see that it's like a green yellow? So we're gonna lay this out first. I'm gonna use my fingers. See that? Oh, it's gonna look so pretty. Ah, uh, let me see this shade right here. Actually, we're gonna mix these two. See, here I go. This one is called Nonchalant. This one's a little bit more of a green. Can you see it on my fingers? One, this one right here, the first one that I, um, has like more of a yellow. I think that's like more of the pear and then this one can tie it together. So we're gonna first put down Nonchalant, which I don't think they have anymore. Let me grab my, my handheld mirror right here. I don't think they have it anymore in their, in their, um, line and the only reason why I say that is because I did purchase some JD Glow shadows for uh, Black Friday because there was a few like there were, I only purchased like five I only wanted like five shades that I didn't have that I knew I could use so we're gonna put this down first as our base shade since it has more of a base for the green don't worry we're gonna use dark green too and now we're gonna go in with prismatic which is like that shifting yellow. I'm not trying to flick you guys off. <laughs> and we're just gonna place that on top. Oh, that just changed the whole thing. So, so pretty. Wow, this is very um, fairy-esque light. Is that even a word? Wow, the shadow is beautiful. And I believe they do have prismatic in their line. And we're not gonna hold back with this look, you guys. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. And you don't need a lot, you guys. You don't need a lot to like build these, as you guys can tell. I think my neighbor right now is putting up Christmas lights because I hear like music blasting next door. And they only do that when they're uh, <laughs> putting stuff up. So let me just wipe this off so then I don't put any more color my eyes and then I'm just gonna grab the original brush and then just buff out the green to see if I could bring it up to my crease area to kind of like 
Give that glisten to the eyes. So we're gonna grab a little bit more prismatic and then bring it up here. Cause I want this to look like a fairy, you know, sugar plum fairy look, but it's still tying into the palm trees in a tree. You guys, I'm gonna try not to sing that song as I do my days, <laughs> my days. Oh my goodness. This is how long that I have been filming. <laughs> okay, so now this is my base. I wanna add a little bit of the dark green because the tree is obviously dark green. I'm gonna grab emerald here from JD Glow and kind of put this close to our lash line to separate the two shades. Let's see if I can put this on here without uh, ruining the look. If I stamp it, can you see that? Oh yeah, you could definitely see that. I just want to put something here. And there we go. For the lower lash line, um, the bird, I feel like this shadow would look really nice. The bird, if you see the bird, it has like a little bit of reddish peach on the beak, kind of like a reddish red color or so. This is like a shifting shade. It's like orangey red, I don't know, like peachy pink, orangey. I'm gonna grab this one. This is called Whip Appeal and I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. I feel like this will look really nice tied in with this whole entire look. If I were just put this down here. What do you guys think? Partridge in a pantry. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. <laughs> okay, so we have the pear, we have the tree, we have the partridge, like the actual bird with the white, the beige, I should say the cream, the brown a little bit here, and then a little bit of its beak on the bottom. So now what I'm gonna do is put on my lashes and lips and tie this all look together for our first day of Alex Miss. And I promise you guys, I do not have any more videos of Get Ready With Me's on the 12 days. This is the first and only one that I actually have for the 12 days. I wanted to explain to you guys what I was gonna do. So that's why you have me sitting down doing my eye look. And I thought it tied nicely with the partridge. All right, let me go put on the rest of my face, like my lips and my eyes, and then we'll wrap this video up for day one. All right, you guys, how did I do for partridge in a pear tree? If you guys see the shadow in the sunlight, it is unbelievably ridiculous how beautiful and how glistening it is. It is stunning, I love it. I love that I got that little peep of brown and a little bit of the white in the inner corner to get the bird tied in with the lower lash line and then the tree itself on my lid. I think it came out really nice and I would have never portrayed a partridge in a pear tree this way. I, I think it's a fun twist to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned, as I mentioned, you guys. Day two through 11 will be surprisingly popped up on your, on your feed. I do not have a set schedule of when these videos will go up. They'll just pop up. Follow me on my Instagram to know exactly what video will be up there because I will let you guys know when something is uploaded. I'm gonna have so much fun and I hope you guys are gonna have fun with me too. Who knows, day two, I might do the number two or Turtle doves. We'll include something with turtle doves. Who knows what I'm going to do? We're just going to wing it <laughs> and have fun with it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention. Forgot to mention, you guys, my lip product. That I ended up choosing the uh, Maybelline Superstay in Trust Your Gut. Just in case you were wondering. It's like a nudie pink, cool toned. I thought it came, went really nicely with the lips and my shirt. That is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put more videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Have fun with my 12 days of Alex Miss. Thank you guys so much for watching. Adios.